Hello viewers, welcome to Destiny to Win tutorials and today we're going to be treating a new topic called change of subject of the formula. This topic is key in maths and also for a science student. It helps you in your physics, basically for calculations, even when you get to university, it helps you to maneuver with formulas and um, uh, perform different operations. So it is key you understand change of subject of the formula. Now what is change of subject of the formula? It actually implies a transformation of a given formula to make another quantity, usually a letter, the subject of the equation. Uh, there are several operations which on, on math involving addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and also involving roots and power. We are going to go through the, um, these particular operations um, in, this, um, in this video. Now let's take the first operation. Operations involving addition and subtraction. For instance, for example, we in for example, if we have x plus y equal to c, to make x the subject of the formula simply means you just taking y to the other side of the equation that's the right hand side and leaving x alone x will be alone on the left side so therefore we have x equal to c minus y if we also have this, for example, P minus Q equal to Z. To make P the subject of the formula means P will have to be will be alone on the left side thus we have carrying minus q to the right hand side so we have p is equal to what z plus q so these are operations involving addition and subtraction now let's look at operations involving multiplication and division two multiplication and division now for example if we have a b equal to c this is a multiplication operation is is um, going on here that's a multiplied by b to make a the subject of the formula we have to divide both sides by b the key thing in change of subject formula, whatever we're making as the subject of that particular form formula, it, only, it has to stand alone on the left-hand side of the equation. So dividing both sides by B, we have A over B divided by B equal to C divided by B. So B would cancel out and we're left with what? A equal to C over B. Now also, if we see this, 
this is multiplication operation going on here. For example, we have P over Q equal to N. Now, making P the subject of the formula, if we notice a division operation is going on here, making P the subject of the formula, what do we do? We multiply making P the subject. We multiply both sides by Q. So we have P over Q multiplied by Q equal to N multiplied by Q. And Q would cancel Q. And what are we left with? P is equal to N over uh, N Q. So this is an operation involving change of subject formula involving multiplication and division. We are going to look at operations involving roots and powers. Let's flip this to the other side. Three, root and power. For example, if a square is equal to c, making a the subject of the equation, what do we do? We square root all quantities on the right hand side. Let's just write this down. We square root all quantities on the right hand side. which would therefore be A is equal to root C. Or better still, to understand it um, simpler, all we need to do is to what? Just if you square root A square, you are going to get an A equal to what? Root square root C. All we are trying to do is making sure we just have a single A, a singular a. For example, also, if we have root y is equal to p, making y the subject, we do what? We square all quantities on the right hand side leaving y alone on the left hand side so here what do we have we have root y equal to p squaring every every both sides square equal to p square when you square a root it gives you just the letter alone that's why equal to p square so this is these are the major operations that we carry out on change of subject of the formula in our next two videos we're going to see past questions on jam involving change of subject of the formula and also in yec thank you for staying tuned